Hello everybody, this is Tom and uh, I'm just quickly going to show you the features of the uh, House of Cards module that I created just for fun. I was playing around with, with MoGraph and the Dynamics Engine and, um, and while I started creating some expresso fields and stuff and pretty soon realized that I could actually make it little toy out of this to share with you guys so uh, I'll just get started it's pretty self-explanatory but first I'll just uh, hide one of them okay so there's two types a cubic one and a radial one I'll show you the cubic one first uh, first of all here you have the uh, number of cards which is gets calculated automatically okay so you can set the number of X rows, zeros, uh, floors. Okay. Um, I have a pretty crappy video card, so let me turn off textures here. Okay. Um, so this is all pretty self self explanatory. There's one thing here I want I want to show you. If let's say you have like uh, four times four and you make a copy of this null uh, you can actually change this to 3 and 3 and raise it up and you can that way create these cascading sort of things um, so these nulls can be copied over uh, and each one of them will act independently of the others so uh, that's pretty handy you can also like adjust gaps here if you get like exploding dynamics you have these options here to adjust gaps uh, for the height and here for the X Z and Y um, this is for um, individual stacks okay so um, th this this is really for when you make copies but to um, to control the gap in each individual stack you just use these sliders here and you can see they're moving over though very slowly but still moving so okay and here this is the part I actually wanted to show you this is the distribution object right now it's using a single point polygon which is an object here so if you want to um, distribute this um, you can drag any objects into here uh, any object as long as it uh, generates points so I'll just show you what can be done if you select a single point polygon uh, go to point mode uh, add point and you can distribute these stacks any way you want so that's what the distribution object is for okay one thing though do not erase this object out of the uh, object manager because this is gonna have trouble updating so if you if you need to change it just create an object and drag it into here but do not delete this object okay so I don't know why this keeps on going back to the top whenever I switch but anyways so uh, let me just lower these okay and I'll create like 12 floors to show you this rotation effect so here's a step effector you can use uh, and you can create these sort, sort of uh, spiral spiraling designs uh, th obviously the more floors you have the smoother is the actual uh, rotation so um, that's pretty cool and here you have options for textures to change the textures like you may want to have the f the ba the faces pointing the other way you just kind of switch these around and you do it by dragging these textures into these boxes here okay so um, what else 
here you also have the dynamics options okay the standard options I just didn't want you to have to go into each tag and change them here you can change the trigger here it tells you what uh, what the number stands for when it's set to zero it's immediately one velocity peak and two is on collision so you have these little helpers helpers along the way here as well I have this the shape set set to box because it really calculates fast if you set it to custom shape um, it tends to be slower like the the shape of the cards is rounded at the edge here but you really can't tell the difference when it uses box mode so you might just want to leave it there um, okay so <coughs> for caching uh, these dynamics you have the uh, MoGraph cache tag here it's just below this level here so you don't have far to go you bake it and once you bake it uh, please make sure that uh, you turn off the dynamics so that it doesn't try to use the cache and calculate at the same time uh, because the way it's set up it actually tries to do that so uh, you can just turn off dynamics with a single click go to dynamics disable and now let's see what happens and there you go there's a collapsing stack okay so that's the um, cubic one the radial one works very much the same oh one one thing when you change the uh, distribution object if you want this calculation to work uh, then you have to make it editable it won't calculate uh, a parametric object so uh, once you're happy with it make it editable and then this calculation will work so the radial one uh, I will enable it and disable the cubic one okay and it works very much the same um, you have a uh, radius um, option here changes the size of the uh, circle the number of clones so for every sort of uh, let's say you put this to a hundred you put ten clones and you can see they're pretty pretty good so you can um, you can just change this to a hundred and ten or a hundred and fifteen just to make sure they don't intersect and that way the dynamics will not explode uh, but it's the same idea you change the number of floors the thickness you can create these sorts of um, star designs this way and it's pretty cool uh, and uh, a lot of the options are pretty much the same you have your gaps here and sizes uh, distribution object is the same it's the single point polygon Okay, and textures, you just change them like so. Uh, <coughs> dynamics as well. So it's pretty much the same. Um, so with this, you can create a whole, you know, some pretty cool stuff. And and then the best part is you can destroy it all. So <laughs> um, and. Um, so have fun everybody and I can't wait to see some major um, destruction of card houses. Um, again, thanks a lot and uh, enjoy.